Okay guys, so these are the brand new Realme Buds Air 3. It sounds backwards, but it's actually not. Realme is a brand that's actually known for doing smartphones. I had no idea they also did earbuds. So today we're gonna talk about what these are actually about. Okay, so let's begin with the specs. We actually have a 30 hour battery life with the charging case and five hours during playback. This is with the ANC function on. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the ANC further along the video because Realme says it is 40 decibels strong. That is quite a claim and I'm not sure if it's true or not. Charging wise, there's only USB type C. There is no wireless charging. The codecs they're using are quite simple. They're SPC and AAC. We don't have any type of high definition like Qualcomm or LDAC. These work with touch controls, which are quite smooth in my opinion. So up to now, they sound pretty average considering the price range, but they have a different function than not all earbuds have, not at this price range or even higher price ranges. And I'm talking about an application. Yes, they have their own app so you can equalize them, so you can map the buttons, and it's called Realme Link. This application is actually not available for this model right now, but it will be in the future. It's actually marked on the box. Okay, so what was my experience with these earbuds? Comfort wise, they're actually pretty good. I actually used them for a 12 hour flight and had no issues or discomfort whatsoever. And during that flight, I was also able to put the noise canceling to the test. And I can tell you it's pretty decent, but I really don't think it's 42 decibels. And the reason I think this is because I've actually tested other earbuds which have less than 40 decibels and are much stronger and do a better job at noise canceling. So I think it's decent, but I really don't think it's 42 decibels. Now sound quality. What can you expect out of these earbuds straight out of the box without using the EQ in the application? Well, I can tell you they have pretty decent highs, very clean mids, and also pretty decent bass. I actually consider that these have a dynamic audio signature. And what I mean by dynamic is that they actually adapt on their own depending on the genre you're listening to. If you need bass, it'll be there. If you need mids, they'll be right there. If you need highs, the same deal. But none of the frequencies will actually be above the rest of them. So I actually think the sound quality is quite decent for the price. And what price is that? Well, currently they're not available in America. You can only find them in Europe and they're about 60 euros which will be less than 70 bucks in America. So, do I actually recommend these? Well, I think for the price, yes, they're quite decent. They have a very nice build quality, they have a pretty decent noise cancellation, a very good sound quality, as well as a decent battery life. But the cherry on the cake is definitely that application. So, if you're actually thinking of picking these up, I'll try to find the link and put it down below, but they're not actually available right now in America but hopefully they'll be around pretty soon. Well, that's it for these Realme Buds. I hope you guys liked it. If that's the case, well, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.